Camille is the strongest hurricane to ever impact Louisiana with regard to winds. Winds were estimated to be at least cat five and uh, especially eastern St. Bernard and then it made landfall up around Waveland and Bay St. Louis. It did produce the highest storm surge there on the coast. 24 feet and past Christian until Hurricane Katrina surpassed that. So Camille was a very, very powerful storm. We're going to talk a lot more about it through the morning and go over actually some interesting radar data that has been um, reconstructed. And we actually have radar images of Camille making landfall. We'll talk about how those strong winds impacted St. Bernard later this morning. Great news is reporting out in the tropics. Nothing is an imminent threat. We don't have any major hurricanes. We don't even have a tropical storm. We don't even have a tropical depression out here on August the 17th. There's tropical waves and the one we're keeping an eye on is down here in around Central America. It's sitting near the coast of Honduras. Nicaragua there. You can see a big burst of storms this morning on the northern side of that wave. So the wave is traveling a bit close to the water here. It'll be interesting to see how this thing evolves over the next couple of days. By Friday, it's going to emerge in the southwest Gulf here and notice extreme southwest Gulf or the Bay of Campeche still giving it a very low chance of development. It doesn't look like it's going to be in a perfect environment. It does look like there's going to be some wind shear on its journey into the Gulf of Mexico. That's great news, which hopefully keeps this frame from really organizing. Now the moisture associated with this tropical wave is going to get in the Gulf here. I do see that moisture getting into parts of Mexico and into Texas, and we could perhaps even see some of that moisture pulled apart with that shear and flung up in our direction towards the end of the weekend. So we may see some moisture from it, but right now shear and the environment overall just doesn't look that conducive for any intensification there. We'll watch it, but I'm liking the trends we're seeing with it.